Hello and welcome back. We are uh, on the uh, brink of a defeat, on the verge of getting eradicated as our base is being attacked. The only way to defend against that is put every single man and woman that we have available at our disposal into action and essentially fend off uh, the aliens. This is going to be a do or die mission in the most literal sense, but we got a good amount of of soldiers including a couple of majors that are working for us and if you see someone like the Dilly G uh, taking him as an example here with all of his mighty mighty stats you actually realize damn we have some really really good uh, soldiers to uh, receive everything but uh, the Galatian Citadel yeah he will not be reduced to zero hit points hopefully and has never suffered 30 or more hit points of damage but yeah besides that he has done everything but that's besides the point because today we are going to defend our base and i hope that we can not only do that but that we can also um, do it in a manner that allows us to actually do the uh, ufo mission um, north europe right afterwards so let's join the action all right so let's start this um, I already placed uh, the commencement phase and the aliens coincidentally got a turn afterwards I saw this door opening so that's the start uh, of us defending let's first of all check what we're dealing with uh, not good Okay, well, that's a problem. Let's check something real quick. How about 10 shots and we're just trying to get down as much as possible. Apparently that didn't work out just as well as we planned. So let's get some snipers involved. The G is handling business as always. Didn't want to destroy anything here. But apparently the game does not leave me with a choice. Ollie moves over. Fails to deliver a fatal blow. Oh. Okay, Zero has... We, we do have a bit of a problem now. Epi. Single shot, single hit. Good. Before we're moving away, let's wait for a second. Trying a few more shots. Shattered Realm. Finally gets him down. Okay, cool. Let's double check. Do we have aliens here as well? No, okay. Well, let's move up. start pushing in hard no aliens here trying to push on and I want to get as far as possible into this section because the al all of the aliens start at the hangars with the exception of a couple of hidden slash stealth units which I believe we have just eliminated a few
Gosh. Three chrysalids spawned in our bag. That could have been a disaster. Let's double check for more doors. much at the moment that we're hearing. Oh, look at you, sweetheart. That looks like the type of alien that I would love to um, capture. All right, one shot, two shots, three shots. Stunned, but not really down. Moves up. Grenade. Unconscious. Yes, great. All right. Go down. Grenades are going to the front line as well. So, Polly with a sniper. Let's have that over uh, Overwatch. We're leaving this door open. Shattered Realm. There's not a lot of hit points, so I want to keep him a bit closer to the back line. Good. Tony moves up here, turns around, and in case someone is coming, we uh, can engage with them. In the meantime, Epi helps to push forward on that other side. Okay, there is nowhere to go from here, which means as, but as long as we control this sector, we control both of the hangars. Moving up. Very good. Heavy weapon. Good. We're going to go in next turn. Let's just double check. Good, 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 good. I think we're okay here with our Zizal. The G hasn't moved yet. Can move to here. Has a good line of sight. Would we'll bring him in next turn 
Tony okay. All right, let's see. We don't want them to start getting into our base because I don't want huge collateral damage. Uh oh, we lost the shield. Uh oh. Not good. Okay, well, well, we have no more shield, that doesn't mean we're out for good, Felix can be healed, and Felix most certainly, it's a nice little removal of cover, eat this, and Felix moves back. Get some solid healing. Whilst we are finishing these two creatures. Polly moves up. And just kills him. Okay, cool. Not bad. Hmm, what are we going to do with you, Uncle Nuber? Good, zero. Definitely hunkers down here and takes the long shots as and when they come. Let's first of all open that door. Good, that means we're more or less safe. Jim moves up, gets closer. Dilly. Moves up and has enough ready for one more shot. Happy moves in and we're soon going to breach. Good look, I mean, we could stay here and then just take shots with a pistol. 70 hit points, Nuber could do it. Ross stand here, still has cover. Tony moves in, takes out the pistol, we're good. We're slowly abandoning the area behind here as we're moving further in. Good, double checking. All of you guys have moved. Yeah, I think we're good. 
Good. Immediately suppressed and shortly afterwards killed with a pistol. Moving into yet another suppression. Move in. Nice little hit. I like it. That should be a kill. Oh, we're already done. Okay. Well, maybe it was really just a few remaining survivors, but I think we captured one. Oh boy. Well, we did not take any damage, I think. Cool. After action report, we got one service medal, a lot of injuries that already existed, and JP Pauli got uh, the gold star as well. So listen, overall, we still got, this time we got like a lot of, uh, we got a lot of um, stats on 13 or 14 of our soldiers. And we got the Mantids. 45 health, a lot of time units, not a lot of bravery. Compounded eyes means these guys compounded eyes mantid grants 270 degree vision making them very effective effective at overwatch mantids have powerful bites attacks pour through armor penetration or can heavy damage to unarmored targets very high chance of bleeding and are small so heavy di di more difficult to hit only 50 kilogram biology is fascinating Delicate uh, fingers that can easily manipulate weapons and tools, yet maintain four uh, articulated legs and straight uh, hybrid circulatory system. Possible most noteworthy feature, large component eyes on either side. Extreme uh, wide field of view. Okay. Listen, 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 listen. We got a lot of soldiers that are itching for a further mission. Couple of injuries, but not too bad. Let's look at the loadouts. So we got one sniper. Two snipers. Okay. One shield. We're missing a rifleman and a shield. We got a heavy, a heavy, and a grandy. Okay, cool. Problem is, everybody is sort of injured. So, Anders with a shield can go. And we're, we're requiring another, uh, another rifleman. We could also go with three heavies, to be fair. And Nicknack has a lot of a lot of uh, strength, so let's just double check that. Immediate back-to-back -back missions. Okay, so we're taking solid gun. And a little bit of ammunition. I don't know if we need much more than six. Maybe, maybe not. The stun baton is good. And one flashbang. That's fine. Natalia. 
way more strength, more ammunition, but it's fine as well. Knickknack. The party snack, as I always used to say. Are we going to give him a laser rifle or a heavier weapon? I mean, the laser rifle is good. So we could also make him just an assault. All right, rifleman, warden armor. Good, laser rifle. And since he has so much strength left over. That, a flashbang, and whilst we're at it, one, two, three. Can't even go with four, why not? Why the hell not? Nick Nack will use laser rifle. Oh, I forgot. No, I did not forget. It's actually, he has uh, the med kit. No, we're good. We're good. Uncle Uber gets better armor, has a little bit more carry capacity. We'll get some ammunition to reload. That's good. Just for uh, for my own safety, we do have a warden armor on everyone, right? Okay, armor, in my perspective, is the most important thing in this entire game because it prevents you from losing your characters. You can always deal damage, but there's only so much you can do if you uh, if you just take one shot and are immediately killed. More warden armor. We even got carry capacity left over. Can't believe it. Well, let's go with one more flashbang. Got enough ammunition, I think. Might want to take a second smoke grenade because why not? All right, the G. Take a little bit more ammunition, and I think we're good. Could also alternatively take a second smoke grenade, because why not? Snipers have smoke grenades, everybody else has flash, uh, flash bangs. Finally, what are the reserve weapons for our front line? Might as well take that out and we're taking a sniper rifle on to Natalia Array and she's just going to drop it at the beginning. That offers us some more optionality. Yeah, listen. Uh, everybody is slightly injured, but not that bad. So we're, we're doing fine. And I really want uh, to loot the UFO, so there is no turning back now. It's crazy to see what a major has in terms of stats. 20... Almost 30 reflexes gained over time. And even here, look at that. 26. He's almost at 100 accuracy. I wonder if you can get higher than 100 or if 100 is just the absolute limit 
we're going to find out, I suppose. So, yeah. That's going to be our team. We're okay in terms of funds. Let's just double check other things before we close down. Quantum Laboratory, yes, we wanted to do that. In terms of research, we have plenty. So we're currently researching Guardian Bell Armor, which I think is our normal best armor. Then we do have Alien Plasma Weapons, which we should have plenty. We're going to look at that, so this would be good. There is a lot of extra damage bonus plus improved training rate, so I almost want to do these after the plasma weapons. And then Dragon uh, Fly Dropship, definitely. Good, in terms of alien plasma weapons, we got a lot of uh, those, didn't we? Alien Plasma Grenade, yeah, we need to be able to use that. Alien plasma weapons 11 oh yeah oh yeah okay and alien magnetic weapons i don't know like we haven't we haven't really researched them not sure if we can get uh, just ref uh, refurbish the plasma weapons but i think we're going to find out good Anyways, guys, it's a bit of a shorter episode, uh, I understand that, but we are going to go for the crashed UFO in a second. But that will happen for you only in two days. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed our base defense, then leave a big fat comment uh, down below. And don't forget to build uh, a few missile batteries around that like button so that the aliens do not always turn it uh, down. Thanks and have a good one. Bye bye.